And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a lava pattern. Just go to filters, render and there we have the lava option. This menu should open and we've got three parameters and a color. Let us just confirm the default. And you should have this pattern as well if you just keep the values. It's going to get rendered on a new layer. Let me re-show it. To see it, it randomizes the pattern. So if we go for example to 1 or 100, it's going to look a little bit different, but the style is kept. The size, let me go down to 1, and you can see much more details. Let me go up to maybe 100 and we'll compare results. You might get an auto select during the process, just press Shift Ctrl A to deselect. And here you have these big elements with a high size. Let's talk about the roughness. If you go down, the processing time gets reduced. And if you go up, it's going to take a longer time. Let us start with a low roughness here. And that's a little bit smoother here and there with the little details. And if we go up, as I've said, it's going to take a longer time to get processed. But here is the result and everything looks a little bit more blurry. Let us delete it. I'll use the ellipse select tool. I'm going to select an area, I will show the lava. Make sure that keep selection is checked. Let me go down with the roughness so that it doesn't take so much processing time. And if I confirm, we've got the selection only affected, but you can see the ellipse is turned into a square, which is one of the negatives of this tool. You can't really add it to ellipses. But for squares, you get only the selection affected. Finally, we can change the color right here. If you click on it, a new menu should pop up and you can select one of your default or one of your saved gradients. Let me pick this one and I confirm. And this is how you can create such a lava pattern in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.